very first thing you need to remember is to prime the pipette, which you suck the water into the pipette three times to rinse it out. That way, you know, there's no contaminants inside the pipette. The next thing you do is you suck up I found you can't really bottle it. You the water into the pipette. Alright, when you take this off, put your thumb over the hole at the top of the pipette so the water does not come out. And you read at the meniscus, which is the which is the measure, you measure at the bottom of the meniscus which is the curve on the water. And that's due to the surface tension of the air. Okay. So the reading on this one is 4.16. The measurement is 4.16 milliliters. Now you need to release some of the water then stop it, take the reading again, which seems to be 6.12342. The reading is 6.42 milliliters. Now, in order to find the final volume delivered, you must subtract the initial volume from the final volume, and that will give you 2.26 milliliters. That's your final volume delivered. It's already been primed, so now I'm going to find the initial volume by sucking the fluid up. I'm going to leave my thumb over the end. The initial volume is 1.02 read from the bottom of the meniscus. The initial volume is 1.02 milliliters. Now I'm going to release some of the liquid and take the final volume, which will be 2.78 read from the bottom of the meniscus once again. The final volume is 2.78 milliliters. Now, now you find the final volume delivered. The final volume delivered is the initial volume subtracted from the final volume, leaving the final volume delivered to be 1.76 milliliters. Really? All right, so Casey's having a hard time figuring out what she wants to say, so I'm gonna help her with her lines. Casey, come on, honey. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna Say that it's already been primed. It's already been primed. Alright, now suck the water up. No, don't make it fart in the bubbles. No, not doing that. And pull it off with your thumb. Okay. Now you read it at the bottom of the meniscus. Okay, at the bottom of the meniscus, it is at 5.2. The initial volume is 5.21 milliliters. Let some of the water out and you're going to read your final volume. Okay, the final volume is 6.28. Final volume, 6.28 milliliters. Now that both the initial and the final volumes have been taken, you can release the liquid back into the container. Uh, uh, it's done. Right. The final volume delivered for Casey's pipette was 1.07 milliliters. 